Hey guys, welcome to Basil and Mint. Today I'm going to talk to you about my change of diet. And then I will share with you an alternative healthy dish that goes with this diet plan. So please stick around to the end. So after a trip to the doctor, test results came back and I have high cholesterol. And it's not just only that, it's also high triglycerides. So high triglycerides are a risk for heart attack and strokes, so this is really bad. It is a result of eating a high carb and high sugar diet. So I used to eat tons of carbs and desserts after every meal. I can't help it, I have a sweet tooth. I love all kinds of carbs, whether it's noodles, pasta, rice, or dumplings. It is what I grew up eating, so it is extremely hard for me to change. But after stepping onto the scale, the number goes up every week, and my uh, belly is jiggly and round, so it's time for me to discipline myself to change my diet for the sake of my health, and also to get rid of this jiggly belly, of course. So I have been doing some research, and I found out that by switching to a low-carb or a keto ketogenic diet can reverse my triglycerides number. It also can decrease my circumference of my waist and lead me to a healthy, better lifestyle. So now I want to show you a product that I found that helps me to lower my carb intakes. It is this miracle rice. It is called shirataki rice, not sponsored. Shirataki rice came from a root called konjac. It is significantly lower in calories and carbs, but also has the addition of fiber. It is rich in source of soluble fiber called glucamine. It has shown to reduce the bad cholesterol in the body and is also a great aid in weight management. So this is a great rice substitute for anyone who's looking into a low carb and low calorie diet. So enough of my mumbo jumbo, let's get cooking. I'm going to make shirataki rice with salmon today. First heat up your pan. Once the pan is heated, add in oil. Then place your salmon in. Hear that sizzle? That's what you want to hear because that means the pan is well heated. It's ready for the salmon. So I use sockeye, wild sockeye salmon. It is better for your health because it's not farm raised. Also, it is skinless because I remove all the skin. I don't like the skin. Now add in some pink salt or sea salt. Now give it a generous amount because we're only going to add salt on one side. Then add in some black pepper. Now flip it over. See how nice and golden it looks? That's the color you want. Now add in some more black pepper, just the pepper, not salt. Once it browns, remove from heat. Now we're going to prepare the napa. We're going to chop the napa. After the napa, we're going to chop the jalapeno. Now we're going to use the same pan and add in some more oil. And then we're going to add in the white onion. We're going to stir this until it turns translucent. Once it is uh, translucent, we're going to add in the garlic. And we're going to continue to stir it until it is fragrant. Next, we're going to add in the white part of the Napa cabbage. And the reason for that is because the white part is much tougher than the leafy part, which takes longer to cook. We're going to give it a couple of stir, and then we're going to add in the leafy part. And then we're going to continue to stir it a couple of times. 
Now let's add in one fourth cup of chicken broth or chicken stock. And then add in the jalapeno. Just give it a stir. And we're going to cover it and let it simmer for a couple minutes. And let's work on the konjac rice next. We're going to rinse it under running water for a couple times. Now let's get back to the pan. We're going to add in one tablespoon of butter. And then the konjac rice. We're going to incorporate it with the cabbage. Next, we're going to add in one tablespoon of mirin. Now, if you don't have mirin, you can also use white wine. Then we're going to add a pinch of black pepper. And then two tablespoons of soy sauce. I use low sodium soy sauce. Then we're going to mix it and combine all the sauces together. Then we're going to cover it and let it simmer for a couple minutes. Now let's add in the spring onion. We're going to sprinkle it all over. And then we're going to add in the cooked salmon. This is what we made earlier. We're going to place it everywhere on the top. And then we're going to let it sit for about a minute to let the flavor absorb in. And it is done. Isn't this pretty? Now you can also add in some blanched broccoli and make it a one pan meal. It is nutritious, easy to make, and most importantly, it is low in carb and keto friendly. The taste is superb, and I promise you are not even going to miss rice. Hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe, like and hit the bell. If you enjoyed my video, I will have more creative low carb recipes to share with you. Thank you for watching. See you soon.